Okay, we're approaching Ali's. Let's check it out. Unfortunately, when I'm in New York, the nearest Ollie's is over 100 miles away across two states. So I don't really get there to check out what the store might have available. But here in Florida, Ollie's is a short 10 miles away. So I went and I got some cool items. Let's check them out. Stay tuned for the video. Hi comic book guys and gals, I'm Joe and welcome to Anachronic Comics. Now many DC fans are familiar with John Constantine from the live action and animated movies as well as TV. Of course many of you, many of you are aware that John Constantine was created by Alan Moore and Stephen Bissett and first appeared as a supporting character in Swamp Thing number 37 from June of 1985. However, from a comic book perspective, many people are not familiar with John Constantine, Hellblazer. It's a horror comic book series from DC and later it's Vertigo imprint. And it really set out the exorcist, John Constantine, as one of my favorite B-listers. Yes, yes, I know, I gravitate towards B-listers. That's only because the writers have, in my opinion, a greater tendency to write creative storylines that allow artists to create wonderful graphics. So the first item from Ollie's uh, from that I want to show you is volume 8 of John Constantine Hellblazer series which includes issues 72 to 83 and primarily encompasses the story Rake at the Gates of Hell that was written by Garth Innes and drawn by Mike Carey. They respectively had second and third longest runs on the book from 1991 to 1995. Now, I have to admit that I don't have any physical comics from the total run of, thir of 300 issues. But reading some of the stories online by Innes made me want to pick up some physical copies so I could enjoy the stories in a, in a more traditional format or traditional way. So when I saw this trade at Ollie's, originally priced at $19.99 and on Amazon for $12, for only $4.99, I snatched it up and I'm looking forward to reading it. Now, regular viewers of this channel are aware that most of my videos provide some historical element of the character uh, or the comic book series, primarily because comic book history, in many ways, reflect the era that the book was created, which, frankly, I find fascinating. However, another element is that these characters, especially some that have been with us in one form or another since the late 1930s or the early 1940s, have lived virtual lives that many readers are not aware of. So when I go to Ollie's, I look for books that may expand my own knowledge of these characters, frankly because I enjoy getting the knowledge, and so that I might include some of these facts in future videos for you. One author that I look for is Robert Greenberger. He's a comic book writer for DC who's written a series of books about DC called The 100 Greatest Moments and is for various DC comic series. Now these anthology books focus on particular characters or teams and provide the reader with his selection of the greatest, most memorable moments of that character or team. Now, the books are coffee table type books and often also come in oversized volumes, which I buy if I can find them. So, at Ollie's, I picked up two of Greenberg's books. The first is The Flash, who was created by Gardner Fox and artist Harry Lampert. Now, The Flash first appeared in 1940 and has been a DC mainstay for most of DC's publishing life. The list price for this book is $24.99, and I picked up this copy for a cool $12.99. Now, it was published in 2020, and it's over 300 pages long, with some historical artwork, artwork as well as some gorgeous renditions of the four prominent flashes, Jay Garrick, Barry Allen, Wally West, and Bart Allen. 
Now, the book is broken down into the following chapters. The Speed Force, The Rogues, The Flash Museum, The Cosmic Treadmill, Flash Facts, and The, Flash, the Fastest Man Alive. Each section is a few paragraphs long and plenty of illustrations and comic covers. Now, although The Flash has been on the big screen on television and in animation, many of the significant moments seen on screens were originally in his comic books. And this book is essentially a guide through Flash history, I guess without the need of going to the Flash Museum. The second Greenberg 100 Greatest Moments book that I found, and this one is the oversized and heavy edition, is the 100 Greatest Moments of Batman, which was published in 2019 to commemorate Batman's 80th anniversary. Now, the list price for this oversized 303-page book is $36. And I picked this one at Ollie's for $12.95. So, over 80 years, how can you pick 100 moments, let alone the greatest moments of Batman? Well, you can't. But Greenberg does a great job, including both older and newer plot lines, as well as dividing the book into six chapters. Origins, Creating the Mythos, The Batman Family, allies, friends and lovers, enemies, and out of this world. Now, from creator Bob Kane to Tom King's 100-run version, this book does a great job of giving us samples of both writers and artist styles. For me, as a Batman reader starting in the 1960s, looking through this book was like a trip down memory lane, and in some ways a refresher course, reminding me of stories I had long forgotten. Yes, like The Flash, we can enjoy the various interpretations of Batman uh, played by actors such as Adam West, uh, Michael Keaton, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, and Robert Pattinson. The real Batman can only be understood from the medium where he started, on the comic book page. And this book is a great anthology, giving us many of the stories through the 80 years of Batman. Now, if there's an Ollie's near you, it's a great place to take a look now and then. I look for these books, but there are also comic book packs that you can buy at a reduced price. And sometimes there are some good books in these packs. It's worth a trip. So click here for my video on Silver Age Flash collection that I have, and here for my video on Neil Adams' greatest Batman covers. Be well, and I'll see you soon.